Well, good morning. It is Sunday, June the 26th of 2022. The year is almost half over. Probably be a good time to stop and take stock of what we said we were going to do this year and see how we are progressing. So this past week, I began reading a book um, written by an individual who at the time the book was written, which is in 2018. He was the only person in history to complete elite training as a Navy SEAL, an Army Ranger, and an Air Force Tactical Air Controller. And he talks about his upbringing, which was less than ideal, and he kind of floundered through life, not really knowing what he was supposed to do with his life. And then when he finally figured out what he was supposed to do in life, what his purpose in life was, he talks about how he overcame a lot of obstacles to achieve the goals that he had set for himself in life and to achieve his purpose in life. And that got me thinking not only about my life, uh, but about something that Jesus said when Jesus told his followers, if you want to follow me, you have to take up your cross daily and follow me. It's not a one-time decision that we make to be a disciple of Christ. We don't just one day say, I want to follow Jesus, and then that's it. It's a daily commitment. And that got me thinking about something the, that the Apostle Paul wrote to the saints in Corinth. And evidently there was an issue among the saints in Corinth. Um, they were bragging about themselves. They were bragging about other people. And they were listening to other people who were bragging about themselves. And so the Apostle Paul decided to make a point about all of this. And so in what we know as 2 Corinthians in chapter 11, beginning in verse 21, he says, But whatever anyone else dares to boast of, I'm speaking as a fool, I also dare to boast of that. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they offspring of Abraham? So am I. Are they servants of Christ? I am a better one. I'm talking like a madman. With far greater labors, far more imprisonments, with countless beatings, and often near death. Five times I received at the hands of the Jews the forty lashes, less one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. A night and a day I was adrift at sea. On frequent journeys, in danger from rivers, danger from robbers, dangers from my own people, danger from Gentiles, danger in the city, danger in the wilderness, danger at sea, danger from false brothers. In toil and hardship, through many a sleepless night, in hunger and thirst, often without food, in cold and exposure. You want to talk about somebody that picked up his cross daily and followed Jesus. That was the Apostle Paul. And when I think of his commitment and his willingness to endure all the things that he endured, because of his love for God and his love for Christ, I'm a little bit ashamed. No, I'm, I'm a lot ashamed. Because I'm not nearly that committed. I'm not nearly committed as I ought to be. And let's face it, I've got it pretty good. I did not have the upbringing um, that a lot of individuals had in life. My upbringing was pretty good. I have not had it as hard as a lot of people in life. And yet I call myself a Christian. And if I'm going to call myself a Christian, then what I need to do is I need to get up every day and I need to pick up my cross and I need to overcome the obstacles that Satan is going to put in my way. And I need to be willing to sacrifice my time and my body and everything that I have to serve the God who loved me enough to send his son to die for me. 
and then to give me his spirit to guide me and comfort me along life's way. 2022 is half over. It's a good time to take stock of what I said I was going to do this year for the Lord and see how I'm doing and see the many areas in which I need to improve upon and to rededicate my life to serving my God. Well, think about these things, and I pray that you'll have a great week.